hello guys so in today's video i will show you how to create a football streaming website so like this one you see in very simple steps so you, you don't have to know to, how to code or have any knowledge with website making or anything anybody can do it don't have to pay for anyone and it's i'm going to teach you for free you're not going it's going to be free so the only thing that i'm going to charge or to get keep is the theme the theme to this website to be able to build this so i'll leave a link on how you can get it so that everybody cannot like use it and so that those people that use it can be able to make money off of it so i'll show you even how to make money using this website so it's quite simple but before you get started kindly hit the subscribe button we are currently at 454 subscribers and we are trying to reach a thousand so to first get started let me make it as short and as detailed as possible so open your browser any browser that you might have okay then you're going to search for blogger so ensure you search for blogger now after opening clicking on that website you are going to be brought to this page so you have an option of signing in if you already have an account or you have an option of creating your own blog so you're going to click on create a new blog if you're new to blogger then after clicking on create blog you'll be brought to a page where you're going to select your email address so after selecting your email address you're going to be here to choose your name for your blog so this is the title that will be displayed on top of your blog so you can just choose a title for your site any name so let me just write football example then after that click on next then let me say football cup live example you can use any name to your liking it doesn't matter so that's how you go about this then click on next after that this is the name that is going to display on your post at the bottom so it's it's going to identify you as the author of the post that has been written so let me just i can you can use any name so let me use the So we are now done with that process of creating an account on that. So but first creation of the account, you're going your page is going to look like this. So this is the how it's going to look, you see. It's just a blank page, okay? So we are going to turn this to this, to something like this. So okay, you see it has various options and ads and also like blogs. So to do that, the first thing you need to do is upload the theme. So after downloading the theme using the link that i'll have provided so let me first show you why it's going to take you so we'll be brought to this page so this is the vim so you're just going to click it and download it so after downloading it will be brought to this this is what you're going to get so to unpackage it you're just going to double click on the then the package document then click on it so just click on it then click on extract to and then choose a file where you want the full the document to be extracted also ensure like you save this zipped folder in your storage like google drive or maybe your storage application so after extracting this is the application this is the theme that you're going to be using this one so let me show you how to install it you're going to head back to your blogger post so you see inside the blogger post you're just going to scroll to it says theme and then there's a drop down menu you see customize okay so click on the drop down then you're going to click on restore so you're going to upload the theme so let me get back to you after i upload it so you're going to where the folder is located for me it's at the desktop so that's where i'm going to select the theme from So you can see inside the desktop the theme appears so this is the theme sports theme .xml, okay so select it then click on open it's going to take uh, some few seconds to a minute to restore the theme after that you're just going to go head over to boy your uh, software installing will be met with the 
website it's going to look like this so for simplification you're just going to upload it and then i'll show you what you can change to be able to like be able to like be able to be customizable to your liking so after uploading the the theme this is what you're going to be made with so let me start with the internal on how you're going to customize it so will be brought or you, you are going to click on this layout page so this is the page that you are going to change the outlook of the website so you can see here so you have several options you are not going to switch on most of the things but you can play around with them to see which one suits your liking so we are going to start here at social media you are going to remove these social media icons that i have put in place not the social media links and place your link so if you have a link just remove that one and paste it here then click on save there's also a youtube so you can also hear these are the icons that are appearing here so this is the instagram this is the youtube so after that you're going to click on save then you change that so you're going to change that next is the main menu so this is the menu that appears here this menu so you can change it here so let me start by changing the name to change the name i'm just going to go to the menu there and click on this pencil icon then change the name now you can say like can change the name then and input the link to the page you want it to take you to so let me click on save to delete it you're just going to click on this dustbin icon so let me click on that and the menu option is going to be deleted so after that you see i've deleted telegram so when i save this and i reload this you see like telegram is no longer there so to add also a beam to, or to add a menu so to add also a menu you're just going to scroll down and head where it says add a new item then you're going to select here and write the name you want to insert to be inserted there then you can input the link to the page you want the link the option to take you to once it's clicked so if i click on that maybe click on that so if i come back here and refresh You can see it's here so this theme has various options so you can also turn a uh, dark theme and light theme so your users can enjoy the theme of their preference so that the users can enjoy the theme to their preference so you can see i've changed it to dark theme and i can change it back to normal so after that we are going to head over here which is advertisement so here is where you can add it i'll show you how you can add this so you're just going to remove this one and i'll show you how to add a new one so i don't think there's much you can change so a lot of these are just like this advertisement so you can change the ones that are in place then place yours I'll, 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 there's be a section on how you're going to go about this but first let me introduce to you how this thing goes so you can see you can play around with this there's also a menu at the footer majority of these options are just advertisements you are going to put in place so like to delete like this one if you want to delete something like this you just then click on this pencil icon then click on remove that's how you remove these widgets so it's going to be removed and also you can save it through here so it's not hard after you install the beam it's just like self what i say self explanatory and it's simple to change it now i'll go now to creating a post so you're going to click on here on post then click on create a new post so here write the name of your post so you can say a few moments later so this is an article i've taken from chat gpt so i've just like this one is the title and this is the board so let me sh cover the basics of how to use like to create a post so i'll start with the creating maybe uh, the the size of the text so if you want to increase the size of the text you're going to click on this double t and choose smallest to largest either of the options then you have the font type you can choose the font type over here you can also choose the type of text you want so if you want it to be a heading you can just click on heading and give and write now to write a normal passage you're just going to write that now we have our text here so let me show you how you can bolden the the, the text by highlighting it then cl clicking on bold there and, cl and clicking you can also underline it through this option so to add a link to maybe a text you're just going to highlight it and click on this link option then paste the link to the where you want people to be taken after they click on the text highlight the linked text so you can also add an image by clicking on this insert image or a video here 
so there are several options you can play around with so this is the example of creating a post after you're done i just going to click on publish but before i finish on that let me show you how to upload a photo so just click on here on insert images then you'll have four options you can upload from your computer from photos or a blogger photo or use a url maybe you can take a url from a site so let me use the upload from a computer so here allow the cookies and now you'll be brought to this page so this is where you're going to insert your image so you can drag or browse inside your computer then select so after selecting the image it's going to appear here now you can choose the you have options to where to align the image at so you can see you can align it at the right side left side or the center you can also insert a link on an image by clicking on the link option at the top then pasting the link here so that's how you go about that now after you're done you're just going to click on publish and confirm so after creating the website and customizing the various part of the themes you're just going to like head over to where it says to it says new post and create post ensure you create like 12 posts since they will help you in like in the website in further part, parts of the video so i'll show you how we are going to be using the post that we have just created now after that let me show you the second part which is inserting these games that are going to be played so you can see today there is going to be matches on ceramica and alihali zamalek and arab contractor so i'll show you how you, where you can get these matches you don't have to know any coding knowledge so this is the important part this is where you are going like to what is going to bring your audience into your website so be keen on this and also you can replay as much as you want so here let me first remove this so the, these matches are are inserted in this part called the layout option so when you go to this layout option you're going to head over to it says today's matches so this is that where the matches there there's a lot of like coding html coding but uh, you don't even need to know html codings just copy and pasting so to remove it i'll just select all then delete it then save and now you can see the the matches will disappear so you can see the matches have disappeared now let me show you how you can insert the matches inside there the, the the website so you're going to head over to the website so attached to the blog i'll leave a link on all the websites you can get those matches from i'll also in the for those who buy the vim i'll show you where you can get like 